Welcome to the Colt AR-15 resource. This video is my third video in the series taking a detailed look at the Colt CM556 carbine, also known as the M5 carbine. In this video, we're going to take a detailed look at the upper receiver assembly of the CM556. All right, I've separated the upper and lower receivers. And the first thing we're going to take a look at is the charging handle and the bolt carrier group. For the CM556, Colt included the Radian Raptor ambidextrous charging handle. You'll see here it's uh, got Colt branding, Radian Raptor for AR-15. M16. So we'll set that aside. We're going to take a detailed look at the bolt carrier group. Um, if you look here real closely, the C is. I can't tell if that's a. I can't tell if that's a stamping, or if it's pinned. I think it's pinned uh, C there. So, let me get a tool to take the firing pin, retaining pin out. All right, the bolt itself, you can see there it says MPC, Magnetic Particle Tested Colt. Let's take a look at the extractor. Right, so the extractor's got the the newer or current brass or copper colored spring and black insert. Um, sometimes you'll see markings on the inside of the extractor, but in this case, I don't see anything. And there's nothing else uh, out of the ordinary with a bolt. You've got the uh, proper staking on the uh, on the gas key. Little light over here. Little light there. I'm surprised to see that. Usually, uh, Colt stuff is is staked rock solid, but that's that's pretty light. <clears throat> so that's it with the uh, bolt and the bolt carrier. I'm going to set those parts aside. All right, on the upper receiver, we're going to start out here on the left side. The left side of the upper receiver has nothing uh, out of the ordinary. Take notice of this area right here. This is carryover and shows some of the lineage of the M5 upper receiver from the 6940 family. And uh, we'll take a closer look at that in the next video. The proprietary Colt rail. It's got uh, subdued Colt branding here. This piece here is known as a bridge nut. There's uh, obviously two screws that come go in from the opposite side. The rail system interlocks into the upper receiver through this tongue and groove here. Um, this design accomplishes two things. One, it eliminates left and right movement of the rail system. And the bridge nut and the two screws down here prevent any, any forward and back movement of the rail system. You've got M-lock slots at 
45 degree increments uh, around the uh, around the entire rail system and that takes us to the top the top you have full length 1913 rail there are not any T marks inside the recoil slots some of you just refer to those as, as grooves or notches, but uh, on the technical drawings, those are referred to as recoil slots. For backup iron sights, we've got Troy Industry backup sights. Both front and rear have, uh, they lock into place and then you have buttons that unlock the sights, enable them to be folded back down. The front sight has a standard A2 style square front sight post. The rear sight, here's your adjustment knob for your windage. And it has both a large and small aperture peep sight. So on the right side of the upper receiver, you have a, just a standard uh, forward assist brass deflector. You have a stamped C for Colt. And then you've got the distinctive keyhole emblem of Ciro Forge, who does the forging for this specific upper receiver. The ejection port door uses a standard uh, spring rod and door but you'll see that the mounting or retention uh, for the, the the door rod is similar to the 6940 again we'll discuss that in more detail in the next video the bridge screws that thread into the bridge nut here are torx Again, you've got the subdued Colt branding, the uh, M-lock rail slots at 45 degree increments as previously discussed. The barrel markings are closer to the front of the barrel and they're compacted together so that you can read them through the bottom of the M, M lock slots there and Colt did this because the top of the barrel where you traditionally see the marks are obscured by the 1913 rail and then material for the handguard and you can't readily remove the handguard to to read those barrel markings so it just made sense uh, to put the markings down there you see the cage code the M and P for magnetic particle tested and then 5.56 NATO, 1 and 7 rifling. And then the last piece here, the flash hider is just a traditional A2 pattern flash hider. The gas system on the upper receiver is traditional carbine length gas system. You can see a little bit of the detail here, but it's uh, it uses Colt's low-profile gas block. Uh, you also see that gas block on like Colt's OEM2 um, their uh, 6960 and one or two other models. So. There you have a quick look at the M5 Colt CM556 M5 upper receiver. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And as I said, there will be a follow-on video where I take the handguard off and we'll take a closer look at the design and details of the upper receiver. There's a lot more to see. So as always, thank you for taking time out of your day and stopping by, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.